back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you the things that I purchased from Dollar Tree. This is really a Dollar Tree craft haul. I'll be showing you everything that I purchased, the things that I use with my Cricut machine for my t-shirt business or any other craft items that I am typically doing. Keep on watching. If this is your very first time here, Thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. The very first item that I have here is this parchment paper. I use this parchment paper when I'm making shirts really for my printable designs. I know sometimes they come, when you buy the printable paper, they come with their own paper, but sometimes you reuse and reuse it and you may need just extra one. So we're gonna put that here. Then the next thing that I do have is this right here. It's a palette knife set. But you guys, let me tell you something. At one point in time, before I had like the Cricut spatula, I was actually using this one right here. I was using this to lift up the design off the Cricut mat and it actually worked. It is kind of weak, you know, but like I said, if you have an emergency or if it's like several items that you're working on and you need help and you need the family to join in and help you get rid of some, you know, help you knock some stuff out the way, this right here will work for one dollar you get three but the one that i used was actually this one right here and i've never and this one i'm sorry in the big one i've used the big one also but i've never used this little triangle looking one but like i said it's a quick emergency if you need to go ahead and lift up some stuff off your mat the next thing I got here are some straws. I'm trying to look for all the straws that I purchased. I didn't purchase these straws all at one time and I didn't purchase them all from the same Dollar Tree because guess what? Every single Dollar Tree at times will sell everything differently. But these are the straws that I find. These are name brand straws. I mean, I've seen these straws all over. I've seen them on Amazon. I've seen them everywhere. And I purchased these straws for $1.00. Like this one will have 18. I've seen this one in like a turquoise blue. I don't think I have it here. But what I use this for is when I do my cake toppers or my centerpieces or for photo props and stuff like that. So I thought these was really cute. I picked them up for one dollar. If I'm not buying them from the Dollar Tree and I need more, I would typically order it from Amazon. So these are the designs that I find. I really, really like this gray one right here. Ever since I bought this gray one, I have not found this again at another Dollar Tree. If you find this at your local Dollar Tree, let me know how often do you find them. And this is another pink design that I found at a different Dollar Tree. All of these are star, um, I'm sorry, all of these are paper straws. So for instance, this one has 25 in it. Um, this one has 24 in it this one has 12 and this one has 18 so all of these did come from the dollar tree you just gotta pretty much watch out for them and the count amount clearly as you can see that all right so this is the next item i thought this was really cute it's a magnetic hook i could put this on my dry eraser board i don't know what i'm really gonna hang on it maybe I could put the um, pins or I'm sorry, the markers or something on it. I'm not sure. I really did like it. I like how heavy it was also. So I, and then you know what? Another thing that I thought of, I could have used this for my, I needed to hang up some stuff for the holidays on my glass door. I didn't even think about these, but I guess this would have worked out on the um, metal door. So I'll keep that in mind for next year if I want to hang up something small for the holidays but i did pick this up because again i thought it was cute and this was one of their new items when i picked it up now i'm seeing it every dollar tree but before i was not another thing that i pick up are these right here these are my favorites so if you do own like a cricket or a silhouette or anything that deals with weeding out stuff or um you know um vinyl or anything like that these are gonna come in handy i got some of these because guess what two for one dollar and this is like a weeding tool and in the other end you can actually use it like a spatula to pick up the design off the mat but i thought this was a great buy so think about it i just got me four um weeding tools you know and i got this one also this is another one it's a little bit more superior than the other one it's like a stylus and what you can do with this is use it for your rhinestones like if you want to put rhinestones on a hat or you want to put rhinestones on a you know on anything you want to put rhinestones or some sort of jewel you can actually use this not to weed but this is mainly for you to put stuff on something i thought that was a great buy for one dollar you know how much these things cost the weeding tool 
especially the Cricut one, it costs a lot of money. So this glue stick right here is another great find. The brand Avery. If you know about Avery, you know it is a branded item. And this glue stick was not in every single Dollar Tree because they always have the off-brand one. I saw the same glue stick from Walmart and Amazon have it. And I think it was like $4 and something or $3 and something. I don't want to lie. But at Dollar Tree, they had it for $1. I use this in my craft. Like if I want to glue together some craft papers or something, so this will come in handy. I've used this before and it's good quality to be honest with you it does stick the item together and for one dollar you get this big old thing and it's washable acid free and non-toxic so hey for one dollar why not so the next thing i have is this adhesive glue again rhinestones or anything that you want to glue together and these are all the stuff that it glues and i got some great reviews in regards to this i personally have not used it but i picked it up because i really want to try it and i want to see how long it lasts i want to see if it detached like you know I just it's one dollar so why not it is a pretty good amount for that one dollar it's 1.2 ounces 36 millimeters it says that it do all of this stuff so we'll see, you know, the, I mean, we're going to check it out if that's what y'all say. And also, this is the brand, this is the craft brand that um that Dollar Tree sells now. It's called Crafter Square. And I'm not going to lie, that brand do carry some great items. Because the next thing I have is some glue sticks from them. It comes in 16 pieces. And to be honest with you, I like these glue sticks. They actually do work. I went to Joanne to buy some glue sticks. It was about like $9.99 for that pack. Imagine I just get a couple of these from Dollar Tree for $3. Look at the amount that I'll have. And this is for the mini glue stick um, gun. Especially for emergencies, I think if your order didn't come in yet or you just wanted to do something really quick, Dollar Tree is open up until 9 o'clock and you don't feel like going to your Walmart or something like that or your local craft store. Just pick this up. I love the fact that Dollar Tree has um, a craft section now and it has very good quality craft items because guess what? Your girl love her some Dollar Tree and I'm happy I can find those items. So let me move these things out of the way. The next favorite thing, favorite thing that I found at Dollar Tree, I needed an extra ruler because all the stations that I work at, I actually keep a ruler when I'm making t-shirts. I didn't buy it because it says it's magnifying. I really bought it because I like the fact that it has like this piece right here and I could actually hold it down to make it flat on the shirt. So when I'm placing designs on shirts, I like to keep a ruler near me. So I keep one in every single station that I work at. And this one I thought was a great find. It's pretty sturdy. It's not one of those bendable ones. So I like that and I like the fact that, you know, it's $1 and it's clear and it goes up to um, 12 inches. So this will actually work out fine. The next thing that I have here is some double-sided tape. And I like the fact this double-sided tape is very thin. So depending on the craft item that I'm working on, I think this will work out fine. I have not tried this tape, but I'm sh I've am i seen some reviews on it and a lot of people say that it's good. I cannot wait to try this tape. And again, $1 and look at the amount that you get. You get a pretty good amount. Here's the Crafter Square brand. All right, you guys. So this is some of my favorite, favorite finds that I always pick up from the Dollar Tree. These are these fastener strips. I get in the habit of making my own pillow covers now because I'm tired of buying decorative pillows. They take up too much space and I got to store them and sometimes I don't have storage space. So what I do is I make my own um, throw pillows. I'll buy the fabric and then I'll just create my own throw covers. I mean, I'll just create my own pillow covers. So I use these. I'll either glue this on the fabric or I will um, just peel off the bottom and just put it again these are temporary hold i've i mean so far i haven't gotten any problem my pillows stay together so it actually work out pretty fine first thing that i have here is this wax paper and what i do with this wax paper is i use it for my 